Hello and welcome to Node.js Minute for December 6th, 2014. I'm your host, Frank Lavinia. With apologies to Megan Trainer, today's show is going to be all about the fork. In case you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the fork of Node.js to a new project called io.js, which is a fork of version 0.12, with a first release slated for January. What does this mean for the average Node developer? Well, nobody's really quite sure yet. And this uncertainty has led to a lot of chatter and even drama in the community. Joyant is finally taking this matter seriously and they've assembled the Node.js advisory board to listen to the community and make changes to make sure that the platform has a unified future. However, this might be a problem bigger than Node and Joyant. On this post by Mikael, he posits the idea that no company can be trusted with the ownership of a community-driven open source project. And his analogy of a park really drives the point home. But whether or not you agree or disagree with Mikael's logic, the point remains. The question for all Node developers is, is it safe to use the platform if there's going to be this kind of tension and drama between the community and the sponsoring company? And the answer that I think sums it up best is from someone who has some experience using Node at very large enterprise. Aaron Hammer writes up about his position at Walmart and the success that Walmart has had with Node.js, as well as his recommendation to continue to use Node.js. And I'm inclined to agree. The future of web development while it may not be Node.js, it's going to look an awful lot like Node.js. No one can deny the productivity and performance advantages that you get from Node. And you also can't deny the longevity and viability of JavaScript. JavaScript is still around 19 years after it's been invented, very much in spite of itself and in spite of its sponsor company, Netscape, which has been all but a memory for most of the language's lifetime. So my advice, keep calm and note on. But while you're keeping calm, click that subscribe button. That way, you'll be up to date on the latest happenings in the Node.js community. Thanks, and have a great weekend.